hey lovely people welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be showing us how to make this lovely shirt dress that you're seeing on my thumbnails with a ruffle um, sleeve attached to it if you're just coming across this channel i just want to appreciate you and i say thank you please hit on the subscribe button to always get notified whenever i post a new video to all my subscribers i say thank you very much for always coming coming back to see what we'll have for you so just sit back as i take you through how to make this dress that you're seeing on my thumbnails right now For the shirt dress on my table, you have a two yards of African print. That is the material I'll be using to achieve the shirt dress that you just saw. If you're on the big size, you can go for two and a half yards. And that is the one that I'll be using to, to form the design on the front and at the hand of uh, the sleeve of the dress that I want to make. So let's just sit back and go into the business proper. <laughs> okay um i have folded my dress on a fold of four you can see the way i folded it on a fold of four because i'll be cutting the front and the back together i'll be going ahead to cut the front and the back together the front you know will have a zipper in the front and then that's where the zipper will be the back is just going to be together while the front is where we'll have the zipper you can see how I folded it. I folded it two inches apart. The front, two, the back up two inches apart from the front. You can see how I have shown you the way I folded it. So we'll be going ahead to impute our measurements. I turned this over because I want the pink area to be at the upper part of the dress, while the um, purple area will be the down part of the dress. I'll be going ahead to mark my borderline that is what i am taking now once i have marked the borderline i'll go ahead and take my measurement the measurement of the dress i'm making is going to be 40 inches the, the material itself is 44 so i'll just go ahead and mark 40 inches and then i'll add two inches hemming allowance then i'll just use my ruler and roll it and give it a straight line. Okay, I will go ahead and take my shoulder measurement. Shoulder to shoulder measurement is 16, and 16 divided by 2 is 8. I'll go ahead and mark 8 inches, then I'll come down by 1 inch to form my shoulder slope. For the neckline and the neck width, you know it's, it's a bit of a, a high neck. So for the front, for the neck width, I'll be taking 3 inches, and for the neck depth for the front, for the front I'll be taking 2.5 inches, and then for the back, I'll be taking 1.5 inches. You know, we're cutting everything together. So once I'm done with that, I'll use my curve rule and then um, curve the, the dots that I have already made to form the neck line. And then I'll mark my shoulder slope with the ruler. I'm going to go ahead and take my shoulder to boss measurement, which is 10 inches. I'll mark it there. Then I'll go ahead and take my shoulder to waist, which is 19 inches. I'm going to mark it there. Then I'm going to go ahead and take my shoulder to um, hip, which is um, 26 inches. That's 7 inches from the waistline i'm going to mark it at 26 inches so i'll just go ahead and mark the dots then i'll use my ruler and then rule out all the lines the way you see me do right now okay
then I'll be going ahead to take my armhole depth. Okay, from the bust point, I'm going to come up by two inches, which automatically forms my armhole depth and then the chest line. I will connect it to the shoulder slope and then take my bust circumference. My bust circumference is 37 inches. 37 inches divided by 4 will give me 9.25. Then I will take that and then add 2 inches um, seam allowance. I will just take what I have on my bust and then replicate it on my chest line. Then I will join the curves join the curve with my curved ruler to form my armhole depth. Right, you can see that I've already done that. Then on the, sh on the um, waist area, I'm going to take my waist circumference, which is 33 divided by 4. Will give me 8.25. Then I will mark it and then add 2 inches as well for the seam allowance. Then on the hip line, I'm going to be taking my hip um, a hip um, circumference, which is 45, and 45 divided by 4 will give me um will give me 11.25. I'll mark it there. Then I'll take two. I'll add two inches seam allowance. What I have, I remember where I am taking all this measurement is the place I folded the the, uh, the place I folded the material not from the not including the zip allowance so i'm going just going to use my ruler and connect it the way you're seeing me do right now i'm just going to connect it the way you're seeing me do and what i have on the waist i'm just going to take it straight down and that will be all i'll just take it straight down from the waist from the hip sorry from the hip i'll take it straight down to meet the hem the hem and that will be all for the dress i'm going to go ahead and cut it out so we are done with, um with the measurements so i'm just going to go ahead and give it a little curve on the hip line then i'll go ahead and cut it out that's the two both the back and the front Okay, here we have it. It's already. I've already gone ahead to cut it out. You can see how good it is looking, the back and the front. We have successfully cut them out. I'm going to set it aside and then work on the, on the pattern that I'll be attaching to the front area. You can see I've already gone ahead to, even mesh, um, cut it out. You can see, what I have there is 40 inches and you know the dress i'm working on is 40 inches as well but because i have already cut the neckline it's going to be longer than the um, dress itself and you can see i've gone ahead to use my hemming gum to stick it to the dress and on if on a fold i have two inches i have two inches and you can see i cut out two pieces i've done one for the other side of the front and then one for the other side of the front and i've gone ahead to use my hemming gum to attach it to the dress so what i'll be doing right now is that i'll be use, going to my machine to sew it down from that area that i joined to the dress i'm going to sew it down while i leave the other side for the zip allowance the piece i cut out i folded it by two by half inch on the edge on the place where i fix it on the dress so that place i'm showing you now i folded it in by half inch and I'm, that is where i'll be sewing down on the dress so once i am done with that i am going to go ahead and join it or join the two the way i've laid the back and the front right side facing right side i am going to join the shoulder by half an inch once i'm done joining the shoulder i'm going to bring it so that we'll see it all right, here we go. I've gone ahead to join the shoulder. Look at it. Look at the way it is. It is looking good right now. But one thing I discovered is that the neck, 
is going to be too choky. It's going to choke. It's going to be too up. So I'm going to go ahead and record the neck area. So we're going to be doing that right now. I'm going to go ahead and arrange it the way we're going to go ahead and record the neck so that it will fit in very well. So that it will not discomfort the customer, the person that has the dress. So I'll just go ahead and lay it. Look at the way I laid it. I just joined the two front sides together and I will make sure I lay it very well on my table. All right, once I'm done arranging it properly, I'll make sure I arrange it, arrange it properly that the shoulder will align with each other. Once the shoulder aligns with each other, I'm going to come down by half an inch. I'm going to come down on the neck area by half an inch. Just watch me as I do this. I'm going to come down by half an inch. You can see what I am doing. So once I come down by half an inch, I'm going to connect it straight down to that area as you see me do on the video. If you're not understanding me, just watch what I do and you will get it. So I'm just going to record it. So when you're doing your own measurements, you should know the shoulder measurements that will, the next measurements that will fit in very well so you measure it but if you have if you are experiencing the same thing i'm experiencing what you just need to do is to add half an inch to correct it so that it will not discomfort you so once i'm done measuring it out the way you have seen me do right now i'm going to go ahead and cut it out all right, the neck is now looking good. So I'll be going ahead to fix the zip. That's the next thing we'll be going ahead to do. We're going to go ahead and fix the zip. So just watch me as I illustrate this. I am using a 40 inches zip, 40 inches zip. The dress I am making is 40 inches on the dot. But because I have removed some parts of the neck, so it will be short from 40 inches. That means my zip will be longer than the dress. So I'm going to go ahead and just make sure I align it because it's going to be an open, it's going to be an open um, dress in the front or a shirt-like dress. So before I go ahead to attach the zip, I'm going to, first of all, hem the down part of the dress so that it will not obstruct the zip. I'm going to hem the down part of the dress by two remember we left two inches for the hemming so i'm just going to double fold and stitch i use my um, machine to stitch it on then i will join the zip i will come and show us okay here we go i'm already done joining the zip you can see how it is looking already it is looking nice and good that is the zipper well fixed okay and nice you can even see the excess there, but I'm not going to be touching it right now and I'm not going to be cutting it. I'm going to be cutting it when I want to fix in the collar because it's going to be having bishop collar. So we'll go ahead and form the cut out the fly or the fly on the shoulder. So I'm going to be locating the center of my shoulder. I'm going to be locating the center of my shoulder, which I have already done and I have marked that place. So from the center where I located, I am going to take my desired measurement where I want the fly to stop. Where I want to when where I want it to stop. So I'm going to mark it. So I'm going to be make I'm taking nine inches or okay, ten inches on both sides. I'm going to take ten inches by this side and then ten inches by this side, making it twenty inches. So I will set aside the dress and then work on the fly that we'll be using for the shoulder so i'm going to go ahead and fold into four i've gone ahead to fold it into four since i folded my material into four that means i'm for cutting for the two shoulders together so what i'll be doing is that i'll be dividing the measurement i got remember i took 10 inches from this side to the front and then 10 inches to the back which is 20 so i'm going to go ahead and divide it by two and then which I'll mark it. I've already marked it by this side. So on that center line, you saw me what I did. I came up 
by one inch. Then I'll go ahead and take the desired measurement of how I want, how long I want the fly to be. For mine, I'll be making it a five inches fly. By the time I fold it in with one inch, I will have four inches left. So I'm going to use my curved ruler and just make a curve to join the the dots that I've just identified. Just watch me the way I do it. If you can, if you are not understanding me, just watch what I am doing right now. So you can see the way I did the curving. You can see what I am going to use my hand and make the curve to be visible very well. Make the curve to be proper. Then on the one inch I came up with on the center, you can see what the, how I ruled this to meet the other points. Then I will cut it out. That is the fly I will be using. If you want it to be very standing, you can go ahead and put an interface or you can go ahead and use a crino line to make it stand very well. But for this, I won't be using a crino line, neither will I be using any interface because the clothes itself is standing and it is a strong one. So I'll just go ahead and then watch me the way I'm going to go ahead and fix it. Okay, I'm going to take it to my machine and then hem the edge. Once I'm done, I'm done hemming the edge, I'm going to go ahead and attach it the way you see me do. Just go ahead and attach it the way you see me attach it. Then you pin it down. That is the wrong side facing up. You pin it down. Once you're done pinning it down, I'm going to head to the machine and stitch it by half an inch. And I'll bring it so that we'll see. All right, we can see I've gone ahead to stitch it down on my machine. And look at how good it is looking it is already standing you can see how fine and nice it is looking so having done with that having gone ahead to do that the next thing we are going to be doing i've already gone ahead to even join the two sides leaving the pocket area where i'll be fixing the pocket later i've joined it by two remember i gave a two inch seam allowance I've joined it by the two same allowance. So what we'll be going ahead to do right now is to measure the bishop neck that we'll be using to finish the neck area. And what I'll be doing to get the proper neckline, neck area is to take my tip round the neck area. And what I have there is 19. So I'll be going ahead to cut it out right now. So just watch me what I do, the way I'm going to be cutting it out. I'm going to make a line, a straight line with my rule, which is going to serve as our border line. From the line, I'm going to go in by 3 inches. That's the width of the back side and then another 3 inches for the width of the front side. And remember, sorry, this my 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 material is only food of 2. You can see what I've done. I've already used my ruler to draw a straight line on the material so on the two joining on the place where the horizontal and the vertical line met i went up by one one inch then you can see the curve i have gone ahead to make a curve at the one and a half one inch i went up by so i'm going to go ahead and confirm the what we have there because i told us that what we have is 19 inches so 19 divided by 2 would give me 9.5. So I will make sure I have 9.5 there. Where, where I identify as my 9.5, I'm going to make um, a mark there. That is what I have already done. I've made a mark in there. Then I added half an inch that, will, that I will use to hem it. So what I'll be doing next now, I'll be determining the width of what the neck I'll be using. So I just use one and a half inch. That is what you have seen me mark there already. So I've gone ahead to make a curve from that place. So I'm going to be making a curve at the end of that because I don't want the end of the neckline to be pointy. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. Hope we understood this. If we did not understand it, you can just replay it again to understand what I did at that area. 
So this cutting, I'm going to make it two. It's going to be two. So here we go. I have my two already cut out and I have gone ahead to attach my interface on it. So what I'll be going ahead to do on my machine now is to join the two. I'm going to be joining the two piece. The way you are seeing me demonstrate on the on the video, that's the way I'm going to be joining it by um half an inch. Then I'm going to go ahead and iron it out. All right, I've done that. I've ironed it out. You can see what I did. I've already ironed it out, and on one of the you can see it's two piece. On one of the piece, I had to fold it in. I had to fold it in by half an inch as well or even less than half an inch so what i'll be doing right now is just watch me as i do this i'll be attaching it you can see one side alone is where what i am attaching the place i folded in is not where i am using to attach to the dress is the place the one that i did not fold in that is what i'm attaching on the dress so once i finish attaching it i will go to my machine and hold it down and after I am done holding it down on my machine. Okay, here we go. I am done with the neckline. You can see how good it is looking. Look at the bishop um, sleeve, um, neck showing properly. And sorry, I did not um, talk about the area where I cut off the SS zip. I hope people will saw me cutting it off. So that is to enable me fix the... Um, bishop neck which i have already done i'm just trying to um, take out all the traits that are showing their head so what next are we going to be doing because our clothes is almost ready so i'll be going ahead to fix the the pockets the two sides pocket so when i'm done joining the two side pocket i'm going to also join the sleeve i'm going to fix the sleeve to the dress by half an inch then once i am done joining that i'm going to bring it so that we we'll all see what we have done together all right here we'll go look at the dress on my mannequin look at how beautiful it is looking although the light did not allow us to see the beauty of the color of the dress kindly give me a thumbs up if you find this um, video beneficial this tutorial beneficial to you and also hit the like button share and invite your friends to join us in this channel. See you in my next video. Bye.